So now we're going to talk about uh, parallel LEDs. You don't want to parallel LEDs with each other. You want to give each uh, parallel LED a resistor. So ultimately we have parallel resistors with uh, LEDs instead of just two parallel LEDs. So we're going to talk about why the power supply was off. I have it set to 5 volts there. And um, so now we're lighting uh, two LEDs at the same time. They have separate uh, resistors. You may have the temptation to just use one resistor, a lower value resistor, um, because these will split up the uh, current. But as you can see there, uh, these two LEDs do not split up the uh, current. I have that wired properly right there. So we're going to look at uh, the uh, current right there. In fact, I should have done this uh, before. If we're going to put them in parallel, then uh, we'll have a total of more than 20 milliamps of current. Right there, I have the power supply limited to uh, 30 milliamps of current to protect damage. Now, I had to raise it. But if we parallel these two, the blue LED does not light up. The reason why is because the red LED is dropping too, or too little voltage actually. It's dropping about 2 volts right there. So it's only building up about 2 volts across it. It's passing current to limit the voltage. And uh, so we need about 3 before the blue LED will light up. Probably like a spec of light will come out if we get to like two and a half milliamps of current. If I yank the uh, red LED, now we do have the blue LED that's lit up. Looks like it needs about nine milliamps of current right there. So it is technically possible. I'll remove this uh, blue one and uh, put a red one in its place. So we should see, uh, it'll still be about 13 milliamps of current because the uh, resistor is what's going to uh, set the current. Both of these are now dropping about 2 volts so now they're splitting up the current. You have about 6 milliamps of current, 6.5 or so going through each of them. You'll see that when I yank this one to the left the one on the right will get a little bit brighter right when it's gone. There we go. So yeah now it's got like twice the current going through it right there. So they were splitting it up but uh, even the red LED could burn out at one time and then all the other all the current's going to go through the other red LED which is bad if you used a low enough uh, resistor there to get uh, twice as much current as what we have here so that each one of them would be passing that current instead you want to give them each their own uh, resistor so I think I uh, mentioned everything um, that's uh, important to know about that and uh, use a uh, separate resistor for every uh, parallel LED at all times because it's not guaranteed, even if they're the same color, that they'll pass the same current. One might pass more and then burn out, and then the other one will pass all of the current. That's a possibility. So, in any case, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen, and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.